हेलो एवरी वन आई एम मिस्टर बसलिंग अप्पा सुरेश कात्राबाद वर्किंग एज ए लेक्चर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट फ्रॉम ब्रह्मदेव दादा मान्य पॉलिटेक्निक बेलाटी सोलापुर टुडे आई वांट टू डिलीवर लेक्चर ऑन यूनिट नंबर वन थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटार फ्रॉम द कोर्स इंडस्ट्रियल ए मशीन कोड टू under the program electrical engineering semester 5 first we will see production of rotating magnetic field for rotating magnetic field in short we can say rmf first we will see some basic features of rotating magnetic field so before going to see basic features how rotating magnetic field will be produced rotating magnetic field will be produced if and only if two or more than two windings or two or more than two phases will be present then we will produce rotating magnetic field because of single phase or single winding we cannot produce rotating magnetic field because of this rotating magnetic field motor is self starting otherwise motor will not start that is importance of rotating magnetic field so first it has constant amplitude feature second but it keeps on rotating continuously in a plane with certain speed means it is continuously rotating with constant speed third is produced with the help of three phase stationary winding fourth current winding produces the magnetic field fifth due to the interaction of three fluxes produced in the winding rmf is produced without physical rotating the rotor circuit diagram of three phase induction motor we have shown here the stator is star connected or delta connected outer side we are giving three phase supply the so production of rotating magnetic field when three phase windings are dis displaced from each other by 120 degree electrically apart the windings are supplied by balanced three phase supply the three phase current flows simultaneously through the windings and are displaced from each other by 120 degree electrical each alternating phase current produces its own flux which is sinusoidal so all three fluxes sinusoidal and are separated from each other by 120 degree if the phase sequence of winding is r y b then mathematical equations of the instantaneous values of three fluxes are phi y phi b sorry phi r phi y phi b we can write phi r equal to phi m sin omega t phi y equal to phi m sin of omega t minus 120 and phi b equal to phi m sin of omega t minus 240 when we are giving three phase supply it will produce a rotating magnetic field means in this three phase induction motor the three windings are displaced by 120 degree electrically apart and we are giving three phase balanced supply when we are giving three phase balanced supply all the three currents will carry three balanced current so each current produces its own magnetic flux that is phi r phi y and phi b so as it is sinusoidal we can write in sinusoidal form phi r equal to phi m sin omega t phi y equal to phi m sin of omega t minus 120 phi b equal to phi m sin of omega t minus 240 as windings are identical and supply is balanced the magnitude of each flux is phi m here we have shown waveform and phase sequence that is direction assumed positive directions phi r phi y phi b and waveform we have represented here phi r phi y phi b that is phase r phase y phase b here r phase starts from 
Y phase starts from 120 degree electrical and B phase starts from 240 degree electrical. Next we will see conditions for production of rotating magnetic field. The stator three phase winding should be placed at 120 degree in a space. The current supply to these windings should be balanced. The direction of rotation of magnetic field can be varied according to the phase sequence. The three phase winding dispersed in sub space by 120 degree is fed by three phase current dispersed in a time by 120 degree. It produces resultant magnetic flux which rotates in a space as if actual magnetic poles were being rotated mechanically. So first we will see different conditions at omega t equal to 0. We will put this omega t equal to 0 in these equations phi r, phi y and phi b. So phi r equation that is phi r equal to phi m sin omega t we will put omega t equal to 0 so phi r equal to 0 phi y equal to minus 0 0.866 phi m that is minus root 3 by 2 phi m and phi b equal to 0 0.866 phi m that is root 3 by 2 phi m we have shown phasor diagram also as phi y is negative we can draw that phi y in opposite direction in dotted line phi b is positive we can represent as it is phi b so resultant of this phi b and phi y is phi r so according to law of parallelogram of phi r equal to 2 into magnitude that is root 3 by 2 phi m into cos of theta by 2 that is theta is 60 degree 60 by 2 so phi r equal to root 3 into root 3 by 2 phi m so phi r equal to 3 by 2 phi m at omega t equal to 60 degree at omega t equal to 60 degree we will put this value in all these three equations that is phi r phi y and phi b again phi r equal to root 3 by 2 phi m and phi y equal to minus root 3 by 2 phi m and phi b equal to 0 so again a resultant of these two fluxes that is phi r and phi y that is phi r equal to 2 into magnitude root 3 by 2 phi m cos of 60 by 2 that is 30. So phi r equal to 3 by 2 phi m. We have shown here phasor diagram also. As phi r is positive we will take as it is. But phi y is negative so we will draw in opposite direction in dotted line. Resultant also we have shown phi r. Next third condition at omega t equal to 120 degree. We will put omega t equal to 120 degree in phi r phi y and phi b equation. So phi r equal to root 3 by 2 phi m phi y equal to 0 and phi b equal to minus root 3 by 2 phi m. So we have shown phasor diagram inside. That is phi r is positive we are drawn as it is but phi y is 0 so we are not shown phi b is negative here minus root 3 by 2 phi m so we will draw phi b original phi b in opposite direction with dotted line so resultant of phi r and phi b is phi r so phi r equal to 2 into root 3 by 2 phi m cos of 60 by 2 means 30 degree that is phi r equal to 3 by 2 phi m so in this way we have proved that at any instant that resultant flux is 3 by 2 phi m if you take different position you will get even 3 by 2 phi m also so hence it is proved that resultant of flux is constant value 3 by 2 phi m that is 1.5 times the maximum value of flux 3 by 2 means 1.5 so conclusion the magnitude of rotating magnetic field is always constant the value its value remains same at any instant of time obviously its value is constant that is 3 by 2 the direction of rotating magnetic field is decided according to the phase sequence of the winding the speed of rotation of the 
RMF is equal to the angular frequency of the supply voltage which in a way depends upon synchronous speed of the machine that is ns equal to 120 f by p next we will see construction of three phase induction motor here figure a shows the outer body consists of stator core figure b shows the front view of the motor and below figure shows the rotor that is wound rotor induction motor mainly consists of two parts that is stator and rotor so we will see first stator in stator stator core will be there we have shown here stator core in that stator core conductors are kept or winding is placed so high grade allow steel slotted on the inner periphery high grade allow steel slotted on the inner periphery insulated and laminated next conducting wire made up of copper wire used to form the stator coil next frame so the outer body it is also called frame the made up of cast or fabricated iron consists of cooling fins supports and protects other parts of the motor the frame supports and protects the other parts of the motor that is inner parts next rotor in first rotor rotor core will be there so it is built from high grade allow steel laminations slotted on the outer periphery in stator it is inner periphery but in out rotor it is outer periphery slotted most squirrel cage rotors are used because of various advantages or the phase bound rotor next conducting rods made up of copper aluminum or alloy is used as a rotor winding end rings next end rings end rings made up of copper aluminum or alloy rings used to short circuit all the winding rods on the core next end wells made up of same material as that of frame used to protect the motor for the two sides thank you